hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design happy new year flyer using photoshop so before any further i do let's get started okay now go to your file select new then i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches or you can use 1080 by 1080 pixels then leave the uh, the resolution at 300 and you click on great all right this is our working background so the first things we are going to do now I'm going to apply our color to this is our solid color then i'm going to apply this code 5f0004 then click ok then select a new layer and go to your brush or you select b on your keyboard then increase the size of your brush make sure the background color is white then i'm going to click here okay now after this one then what i'm going to do now i'm going to turn off this one for now okay then I'm going to select my test tool then I'm going to type happy so the font I'm using here is Montserrat then I'm going to increase it this way then centralize it then go to your layer style and apply a drop shadow Okay, our drop shadow here is 90%, so I'm going to increase it to 100%. Then the distance, I will increase it to 8%. Then the spread, I will reduce it to 6%. And the size, I will leave it at 7%. Alright, then click OK. Now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll drag it here, select your test tool again. Then I'm going to type new. Then which I'm going to change the font here. Then increase the font size. Then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect, then Ctrl plus J to duplicate the test. Then hold your shift key while you drag it down so that it will be centralized. Then I'm going to select the two tests here. Then and increase it a little. Then add this one while holding your control key. Then I'll use my arrow key to move it up this way. Then I'm going to increase this one. Make sure you apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to duplicate this one again. Ctrl plus J. Then hold your shift key while you drag it down. Then select your test tool. 
Now I'm going to then change the font to Montserrat. And I'm going to make it bold. Okay. Then reduce the font size. Then you drag it up here. Then you click OK. Alright. So having done this one, so the next thing I'm going to do again, then I'm going to select the test then i'm going to duplicate it or right click then you convert it to shape now after converting it to shape then i'm going to reduce the fill color I'm going to apply stroke so you can see the stroke here is the color I'm using for the stroke then the color code is AAF F9C okay then I'm going to to uh, apply the number the number is 4 then and the position is inside the opacity is 100 percent okay so if you wish you can change it to outside inside or outside so anyone you want so you can apply between the three outside inside and or center so in this tutorial i'm going to use outside then I'll click OK. Alright, so you can use inside anyone you want. You can make use of it. Alright. Then I'm going to apply the same thing to this one. Then go to your stroke. Then I'm I'm going to change it from outside from inside i mean to outside if you want you can increase the size of the drop shadow then you change this one to outside okay then i'll click okay so having done this the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to import my image which is this one then i will arrange it properly the way i want it i'm going to leave it this way or you can drag it up a little okay i'm going to leave it this way it's okay like this now after we are done with this the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to turn this one on this is the layer i created then go to your blending mode and i'm going to use this hard mix all right then after this one i'm going to create a red angle then select your rent angle to then remove the stroke color then which i'm going to use a white background then zoom in now i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j okay so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to select all of this one then right click and merge the shape then i'm going to duplicate it this way again all 
all right then hold your shift key then and then merge it again so after i've done this one what i'm going to do next is to reduce the size then change the color to soft lights then reduce the opacity make the opacity at 55 okay then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j then i'll bring this one and position it around here okay then select ellipse tool and draw a cycle here while you're holding your shift key then i'll leave it at this position now drag it down here double click then i'm going to apply the color from this place then you click ok then duplicate it ctrl plus j then i will reduce the size then position it around here then double click on it then apply black color then i'm going to reduce the opacity to 44 then click on the second one apply 44 or you can make it 55 so whatever is your choice then you can apply it so after done this one i'm going to duplicate this one then reduce the size i'll position it here okay then i'm going to duplicate it again ctrl plus j then i will drag it up here then i will reduce this one So having done this one, I'm going to group the background and why this one is the test. So I'm going to group this one, then come back to it again. All right. Now I'm going to gr group to convert this one the test here to smart objects okay so having converted to smart object now so what i'm going to do next now i'm going to select this test here then hold my control key then i'll click on this layer here then while selecting the image then i will apply a layer mask okay now then go to your brush then you select your brush tool then i'm going to reduce the size of this brush then i'm going to wipe it this way okay then having done this one what i'm going to do now i'm going to 
press X on using my keyboard then reduce the size of the brush then I'm going to do it gently 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 then something like this So you have to do it gently, something like this. So, as you can see. Then press your X on the keyboard then to adjust the glow so this is how you can do something like this all right so you take your time to do it gently without rushing it so that you can do it more perfect all right so that is all for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell thank you